coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. USAF conducts first AI flight of pilotless aircraft. Parazero sees U.S. order for UAV safety shoots. And Skydio sees first Ukraine deliveries under U.S. aid. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. USAF conducts first AI flight of pilotless aircraft. Utilizing complex artificial intelligence algorithms and sophisticated automation technologies, Air Force researchers have successfully performed the first unmanned, wholly autonomous flight of an aircraft. The three-hour sortie was flown by an XQ-58A Valkyrie, an experimental, stealthy, unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed and built by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions for USAF's low-cost attritable strike demonstrator program. The flight was undertaken at Florida's Eglin Air Force Base on July 25, 2023, so stated the Air Force Research Lab, which partnered with Kratos and the XQ-58A's development and created the AI algorithm salient to aircraft's function. USAF Research Lab Commander Brigadier General Scott Kane asserted, quote, AI will be a critical element to future warfighting and the speed at which we're going to have to understand the operational picture and make decisions. We need the coordinated efforts of our government, academia, and industry partners to keep pace, end quote. The XQ-58A Valkyrie falls within the USAF Research Laboratory's low-cost attritable aircraft technology portfolio, the objectives of which include producing UCAVs by dint of developing, maturing, and implementing superior design tools and commercial manufacturing processes. LCAAT aircraft are intended to escort USAF F-22 Raptors and F-35 Lightning II fighter aircraft during combat missions and deploy weapons or surveillance systems in support of such. And coming up after the break, SkyDrive Ops for Avidyne Avionics for future EVTOL aircraft. Backcountry flying to us is our playground. For us, it's how we access the things we like to do. It's just our lifestyle. We exclusively use the, the Hartzell Voyager prop, and it's proved to be um, just a great combination for what we do. What it's doing, it's, it's helping us all have better performing airplanes. Man. It feels a lot better clearing trees by 50 feet versus 20 feet. I don't ever see myself not flying. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. SkyDrive Ops for Avidyne Avionics for future EVTOL aircraft. Japanese EVTOL manufacturer to be SkyDrive announced the selection of Avidyne's quantum system at the recently concluded AirVenture 2023, choosing the flexible suite to provide, quote, customized certified avionics, end quote, for its upcoming three-seat electric aircraft. The company has continued to press onwards in recent months, tweaking and modifying their basic design while adding a little more capacity and performance wherever possible. A big update to the eVTOL came in June, when the firm elected to add a third seat to the one-pilot, one-passenger design it had launched with. Newly released report bodes poorly for hydrogen propulsion. A report newly set forth by the International Council on Clean Transportation impugns the commercial applications of fuel cell-powered turboprop aircraft. The ICCT contends hydrogen electric fuel cell-powered ATR and de Havilland Canada turboprops, specifically ATR-72600 and Bombardier made de Havilland's Dash 8Q400, could have sufficient range to service most turboprop routes, but only when carrying many fewer passengers than the aircraft's respective design capacities. Ampere provides company update. Summer 2023 has been a busy and productive time for Ampere. In July, Ampere made history when its electric eel technology demonstrator, a Cessna 337 Skymaster retrofitted with a forward electric motor, became the first hybrid electric-powered aircraft to log in excess of 20,000 air miles. 
The EO moniker is an ambigram of the aircraft's original 337 designation and evinces the endemic cleverness of Ampere's personnel. Also, Ampere acquired Talon Air, a Southern California startup about the business of developing a two-vehicle fully electric eVTOL system that separates and reintegrates in flight. General Atomic Stoll UAS operates from unimproved surface. General Atomic's Aeronautical Systems announced that it had completed multiple successful takeoffs and landings of its Mojave unmanned aircraft system on a dirt strip near El Mirage, California. The ability to operate from unimproved surfaces demonstrates the Mojave platform's utility and the extent to which it departs from the limitations by which conventional fixed-wing aircraft are constrained. Moreover, the vehicle's broadened capabilities afford users opportunity to deploy Mojave in areas previously deemed unsuitable for UAS operations. That was our next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Parazero sees U.S. order for UAV safety chutes. Parazero Technologies recently inked a deal to supply their safe air system to an air taxi and cargo drone solutions company in the USA. Parazero Safe Air is a smaller, more compact ballistic parachute system for uncrewed or multi-rotor aircraft in the greater UAV family. Computer-controlled deployment and constant flight monitoring provide a greater margin of safety for the aircraft and those below it. The purchasing firm is based in the USA and operates as the OEM to produce a future enterprise aircraft in the UAV and air taxi sphere. The addition of Safe Air is an unsurprising one in a time of increasing sensitivity toward the use of electric, battery-powered vehicles. A soft landing could prevent the inevitable bad press of a lithium battery fire if included in an air taxi's design from the ground up. CEO Boaz Schetzer said, quote, This purchase order from an innovative air taxi and cargo drone solutions company in the UAE is a testament to our unwavering dedication to safety for the commercial drone and urban air mobility ecosystem, end quote. And coming up after these messages, Skydio sees first Ukraine deliveries under U.S. aid. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Skydio sees first Ukraine deliveries under U.S. aid. The U.S. Agency for International Development announced the delivery of nine autonomous drones donated by Skydio to the Office of the Prosecutor General of Ukraine. The shipment was made up of Skydio 2 Plus drones, each boasting a 4K camera suite. U.S. aid intends for the aircraft to be used to document war crimes throughout the Ukrainian front, assessing civilian infrastructure, damage, and human impacts wherever necessary. U.S. aid says that two of its selected coalitions have documented, quote, more than 40,000 incidents of Russia's war crimes since February 24, 2022, end quote, both assisted by continued visits from U.S. aid experts. The donation only adds more drones to the ongoing fight as the world looks and learns about the many new functions small uncrewed aircraft can fulfill. Both sides in the conflict have proven keen on reimagining the drone-filled battlefield, pressing small, commercial-spec drones into use as decoys, reconnaissance platforms, and even homemade ordnance. While throwing their hat into the ring, Skydio is perhaps the most sedate of the drone companies pressing their kit into service in a war zone, staying within the Skydio 2 Plus operating handbook to a T with photographic survey and documentation. USAID's facilitation of drones donated by Skydio was the latest partnership with the U.S. private sector to support Ukraine. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.